So finally, uh, we can talk about what we're actually going to do this lab. And hopefully, if everything goes well with our subjects, we should be able to produce the graphs pretty much almost exactly as you saw them uh, in the previous slide uh, on the right, where we had action deficit, steady state, and then epoch. And we can do this by uh, first obtaining some resting values. Uh, so the subject will sit on the bike for two minutes, and they won't do anything. And then for five minutes, they're going to exercise at 60 watts. And so this is going to be a light bout of exercise, and they're going to reach their steady state fairly quickly. So they're going to have an oxygen deficit uh, for a short amount of time, and they're going to reach steady state. And then at minute seven, they're going to stop pedaling completely, and we're going to have this recovery period. And during this recovery period, we expect to see the epoch phase. Okay? And then five minutes later, at minute 12, we're going to do a second round of exercise at 120 watts. And we expect to see the same things, oxygen deficit, steady state, and epoch. Uh, except this time, we expect them to consume more oxygen. Because uh, as I said before on the previous slide, if we increase the work rate, we're going to probably increase the volume of oxygen we consume. And there's a linear relationship, uh, as we saw on the graph before. Okay, so again, they're going to have a recovery period at minute 17 and we're going to see the epoch phase. And we're going to do this for two subjects. So responsibilities are fairly simple this week. We're going to have a subject, a timekeeper, and a bike resistance setter. Okay? And uh, I'll show you what the plug flow actually looks like. We actually had Rex uh, do this test, and uh, here's a little video of her doing it right now.
two parts. You're going to have oxygen deficit uh, for the first workload and the second workload, and you're going to have an EPOC for the first workload and the second workload. And right now on the computer screen, you can see a little graph for volume uh, consumption, the volume of oxygen consumption. We can also see for RER, uh, we can see the volume of CO2. Uh, so when you guys come to lab, you should uh, take a look at the computer when you get a chance to get a visual aspect of what's going on. Alright, so again, there's an abbreviated version of the, of the rest. So now we're going to go into the 120 watt uh, workload. So let's get ready to go. Alright, so I'm going to increase the resistance on the bike up to 2 kgs. And she's going to be at uh, 60 RPM again. And then uh, do the pre-lab quiz for lab number three. 